Thomas, you've had a little bit more time to think about it now as a team and as individuals. What could you have taken from Tuesday night? Um, I think um, definitely for the individuals, I think it was very good. Very good to see a lot of players. There was a lot of players who got their debuts. Um, good to see them in a competitive match uh, for Brentford. Um, we always get answers when we put people up there, uh, out there. And um, for me, it was actually some, some good answers. There's some bits you want to do better, uh, some players you want more from. Um, but in general, okay, that was a, a good, good impression. Some players we could, could take um, those performances into the next coming games. You always talk about taking things one game, one training session at a time. Going into this week with, with three games a week, is there a balance between treating Hull as just one game but also part of a part of a busy week? Uh, yeah, of, of course, I agree, I agree with you. We need to only focus on Hull. We can't focus on Leeds or Charlton uh, after that. It's only Hull. That's uh, the main focus and then the, then the next training. Uh, but, but, but of course, we also to have in mind to think a little bit um, ahead. Uh, for for a busy week, but the main main focus is only on, on on Hull and how we can beat them. How can you beat them? <laughs> Hopefully, um, I think in general we looked extremely solid um, defensively uh, in the in the first uh, first three games of the season, uh, giving very very little well little away. Um, going forward, I think there's been promising um, aspects of the game. I think we. We by far created enough uh, in all three games, but we need to be better to to two things. One, of course, put a, take our chances and then put them in the back of the net. And two, especially I would say second half against Birmingham, we still need to put enough tempo in the game, and that's a few enough few uh, few touches, especially central, um, more runs in behind, um, especially on the, on the final third and have a little better solution uh, in these situations to, to still keep creating opportunities and chances throughout the game. Of course, we know it's difficult when, when, when teams bank up, but that's part of it and then we just need to, to handle that better. Do you expect Hull to be, to be one of those teams that, that bank up on, on Saturday? Um, no, they, 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 to be fair, I think they, they like to, to press forward and they like to have a quite high starting defensive position, so, so they'll definitely try to press us, uh, but I expect us during the game to, to dominate it and it definitely in, in longer spells dominate it um, and then one way or another it's maybe us who's dominating and pushing them back or them who's maybe okay now we're a little bit out of shape and they now need to get more in in, 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 in these situations but but there's so many small turnovers in the game and all these turnovers we've been talking and training a lot about playing more forward and turn forward uh, in these situations. And obviously the game against Hull last year potentially the, the best display Brentford put on under you? Yeah, of course, but that, that was one game, one snapshot that's a long time ago. It was a completely uh, new game on Saturday. It's um, a new game, new history, um, so we never know what's going to, to happen. But, but the aim is for us to dominate and, 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 and play with intensity. I mean, how have, how have the boys looked in the, in the build-up to, to training? Has training been sharp? Yes, yeah, sharp training today, uh, very sharp training today. Um, been focusing on the offensive part of it, of course, uh, going going forward. But yeah, sharper and sharper. And in terms of tip players and individuals, is there any update on on the injury injury list? Um, it should be uh, slightly better. There will be some doubtful uh, for the game. Uh, we will see. Um, Ethan Pinnock, uh, we got, got taking off uh, in in the game. He could be doubtful for for Saturday. Uh, we need to assess every day uh, Christian Agard and, and Kamu Mokocho. The two of them uh, will be see if it's, we have enough time to, to put them out there. Uh, we'd like to have them back in the team as, as quick as possible. And then it's getting closer and closer with Saif Ben Rama, so uh, we'll take a decision uh, tomorrow on him. And presumably as well, it'll be very nice to get that first home win of the season on Saturday. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> we all know it's the farewell season at Griffin Park, so uh, for me, it's not. There's no any. There's no big, bigger pressure. But we just want to uh, create that fortress uh, at Griffin Park and make it very difficult. And I, I think, I think in many ways we did everything we should do against Birmingham. Uh, and can we can we put that first half performance out there um, on Saturday? Then I'm more than happy, and that we sure we'll win the game.